every kid should have the ability to develop to the best of their biological potential. And none of us should ever just be sitting idly by watching while some kid's future is imperiled. Los Angeles City Attorney Mike Fuhrer referring to symptoms similar to post-traumatic stress disorder in LA's children. Yes, violent crime overall is down, but you might not think so near Daimoli High School in South Los Angeles. 105 people killed within a mile of the campus over the past five years, according to the LA Times. And around Hawkins High School, 72 people killed nearby over the same period. Stanford University researchers say this could have drastic effects on children's brain development. The aspect of brains that grapples with stress gets overstimulated. And when that overstimulation happens, there's a chemical imbalance that occurs. And there's abnormal neurological development that occurs. Even if the kids aren't injured, aren't shot at, it leaves an imprint in them that could limit their learning, limit their relationships. I sat down with the city attorney to talk about his new pilot program in Watts. Immediately after reports of shots being fired, LAPD, community advocates, and therapists with the nonprofit group The Children's Institute arrive on scene. They look for kids and offer free, ongoing therapy to children who may have heard or seen something within 24 hours. We think if we can intervene with these kids in a timely way, we can interrupt what otherwise would be a process that would erode their brain development forever. Now it's early. We haven't developed metrics by which to assess our efficacy. It's only a few months old, but this is on the right track. And I'm just communicating over the weekend with Laura Drino, a great member of my team who runs this project. Already we're looking at expanding it dramatically throughout the entire Southeast Division to many of the areas around the schools you just mentioned.